Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again for yet another unboxing video for you guys today. I have a good amount of stuff here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine packages to open. A couple are coming from you guys that sent stuff to my P.O. box right here. So I'm gonna get to that first. But the last the last box that I'm gonna open up here, I got from a a mystery box show. A mystery box show and I won one of the top hits. Uh, some people may uh, question uh, one of the one or two of the items I won uh, in there due to you know the way the world is and uh, you know how people are, people in cancel culture and things like that. I don't I don't know if the said person did what they did or not but we'll get into that a little bit later but uh, I have some packages that were sent from you guys straight to my P.O. box and for anybody that ever wants to send anything to me I'll open it up live on video and uh, the first one up right here but I think it's coming from PA P Pittsburgh Pittsburgh California and there's a note here it says dear Brendan love your videos here are a few things for you hope you like them Brian thank you Brian let's see what's in here today uh oh <laughs> oh no um, I think I've gotten stuff uh, from Brian before in the past, and I think I think I did. It had like serial killer related stuff in it, and uh, we got a picture of good old Charles Manson. Uh, I believe that's Jeffrey Dahmer, and uh, I think this is Gacy. I think that's Gacy, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but the, there's a Blu-ray inside. Okay, Zombie Diaries two. I don't think I've 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 heard I've no I've I know I've, I know I've seen this one in stores before, but I don't know if I've ever watched it. And it came out from Dimension Extreme, you know, back when uh, Dimension uh, was trying to put out like you know uh, you know their their version of horror movies and stuff. And I I think I've, I know I've seen the first one, but I don't know if I've ever ever uh, ever watched the second one. That's cool, man. But yeah, thank you, Brian, so much for sending that on over. Like I said, thank you so much, Brian, for sending that on over. I'm definitely gonna add that to my collection right there. Uh, when it comes to uh, Zombie Diaries 2. But we got another package right here. But well, let's open this up and see uh, what one of you guys sent here today. But uh, I see I see like a red case in here. Um, Mondo Trasho. John Waters, Mondo Trasho. Uh, I love me some John Waters, like Pecker, Hairspray. Um, the, you know, the ones with Divine as well. I don't know if I've ever seen Mondo Trasho uh, before. This looks like it could be kind of interesting. Um, I even like John Waters' like stand-up special, or like where he tells stories and stuff. Um, there's no, there's no note in here. But whoever sent this one, thank you. I've never seen it before. Mondo Trasho. Hopefully, I'm saying it right. It looks low budget, fun, good cheese. I'm hoping. But that looks cool, man. I love me some John Waters in my life. Thank you very, very much. There's no note in there, so I can't read anything. But uh, let's open up this one right here. This one's coming from, I think, one of the companies that send stuff uh, for me to showcase on videos and things. But I'm not sure what company it is until I open it. Oh! Cool! This is actually coming from a friend of mine. Uh, from my buddy Septum Sin versus The World here on YouTube. And uh, this is kind of cool. Because this is a movie, a Blu-ray, um, called Amityville Webcam. Yeah, I know. There's a lot of movies out there where they use the Amityville, like, uh, mo the movie title now. Because the original movie came out back in the 70s. And the first couple sequels of Amityville were cool. But then they started going all over the place, you know, with the Amityville name. Because I think it went into, like, the public domain or whatever. So, like, I think even Sean uh, made, a, made a movie, the movie called Amityville Karen. There's like Amityville Shark in Space, or you know, there's all sorts of weird things now. And this is Amityville Webcam. Uh, it's a low budget independent film. I have not seen it yet, or anything like that, but it has my friend Kyle Rapport in there, Septim Sin. And if you look on the, the cover right here, you might recognize someone's face. Uh, I, 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 I forgot I recorded something for this. And, uh, you know, I, I saw people posting about the Blu-ray of it on their on their Facebook and stuff and, like, Instagram and things. So I, I was sharing pictures. But, yeah, I'm in this thing. 
I think I recorded something like, like I said, through like Zoom or something like that for it. Amityville webcam. Uh, I'm gonna leave a link uh, to my friends, uh, my friend uh, Septim Sin's uh, Facebook page and Instagram. If you want to message him, maybe he can give you know sell you sell you a copy of it if you guys are interested in Amityville webcam. Like I said, I don't know you know if it's gonna be the most amazing movie on the world or anything like that. Uh, but you know from the title, you know it, it's gonna be fun cheese. But yeah, this is something I, I know I record just a little segment like over like over Zoom or whatever for it. But I love Septim Sin. He's always been a big supporter of the channel and of of the stuff I've done. So I love him and I always will. And he's plus he's just a good dude. So I was happy to be a part happy to be a part of this, even though I don't know what's gonna happen in it, what's 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 going on in it or anything. But uh, yeah, if you guys want to get a copy of it, support in True Independence. I have a link for his uh, Facebook page and his uh, Instagram down below. You can message him, and I'm sure he has copies for for sale. I don't know how much they are or anything, but please uh, support Septim Sin and his YouTube channel. I have a link for his YouTube channel down below as well. Him and his friend make some killer videos, and uh, I have a package here, another one. I think this is coming from a company I, I I work with. Yeah, I think it might be. Was it Warner Brothers? Oh no, it's Scream Factory, and they sent me a copy of Dark Man. Uh, right here, Sam Raimi's Dark Man on 4K. This is the 4K Blu-ray set right here. So cool to get the, uh, excuse me, updated version of Sam Raimi's uh, first in the series of Dark Man. Uh, this 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 was a, this was a a movie that I'm not gonna lie, I didn't watch a whole bunch. You know, when when it came out when I was younger or anything, like it wasn't one of my favorites of all time or anything. But I've grown to love it over the years. Is it one of the best that Sam Raimi's ever done? Definitely not. But it's cool to finally get like a. It's on 4K, you know, 4K upgrade. Has all the original special features from you know the old editions uh, that uh, uh, Scream Factory put out on here. Plus, you know, the, the new updated scan, which I haven't seen yet because I just opened the thing. But uh, I think see, that's what the paperwork says because I'm sure it's out already because this one's been probably sitting here for a little bit uh, before I was able to open it and talk about it here on the video. Uh, February 20th. It comes out uh, February 20th, so I think it's like the 25th or 26th. Uh, right now as I'm uh, re recording this video, but I uh, thank you Shout Factory for sending on over a copy of Dark Man on 4k It's pretty rad, dude. I'm gonna go with this one right here. This is a little bit of a hefty one, and I think it says Lionsgate Lionsgate Home Entertainment boom Let's see what they got in store for me today. It feels kind of heavy like I said got that. Oh, okay. Okay, I see what it is from the paperwork, and it's the first time I'm seeing this in person, and this is the Expendables 4 film collection on a Blu-ray, DVD, and digital copy. I believe I have a 4K steelbook of the same franchise that I got recently from them, of the same four movies, but we have the 4 film collection here on Blu-ray, DVD, digital copy combo pack with a cool, like, you know, skull right there. Have the spine right there where this has you know the collection of it, the collection of it right there. I don't know how good you guys see it, but you know just the basic back and stuff. But like it's, it has like the you know the the regular Blu-rays inside the the case right there. It looks pretty cool the front case uh, of it. The first two films I I really dug uh, when it comes to Expendables. The three and four weren't my favorite or anything like that, but it is cool to see the action stars of yesteryear and new uh, you know of. The new age, you know, coming together, doing their thing. But yeah, we got the four film collection of Expendables here on uh, Blu-ray. Uh, uh, MSRP is uh, $44.99 out there. And it comes out on uh, three... Uh, it comes out on the 5th. comes out on the 5th. So it, is, it may or may not be out by the time you see in this video. I am not sure yet. But Lionsgate, thank you for... Uh, uh, hooking me up with a, the set of the Expendables 4 film collection here on Blu-ray. But I think, I, like I said, I think I recently got a steelbook. I have the steelbook of the 4K collection uh, that, that came out from them that they sent as well. So they have the 4K steelbook collection. And they have the 4 film Blu-ray collection out here. Uh, if you want to get just like the regular Amray version of it. So let me know. What version of it do you guys have of the Expendables movies? Do you guys like them? Did you not, not not like the Expendables movies? Let me know uh, in the comments down below. But thank you, Lionsgate. Yeah, this one's from Lionsgate as well. And uh, let's see what's in here. 
I'm getting excited. I can't wait to open up the big box at the end. Because it's, it's, it's a surprise I won. You know what I'm saying? But um, let's see what's in store in this one. Oh, as you can see, it says Dream Scenario right there. So straight from Lionsgate itself, the new Nicolas Cage movie, uh, Dream Scenario here on Blu-ray. Meet the man of your dreams. Uh, this one looked like looked like looked like it could be a lot of fun from the trailers and from what people were talking about. I I have not seen it, but this is definitely on my to want to watch list for sure, especially of the stack I have here so far. But if you guys have seen it, let me know down below. Uh, if, you know what, what you guys thought about it. But I love me some Nicolas Cage, man. Been a big fan of his since like the Raising Arizona days and Con Air, Face Off, all that jazz. Yeah, let's move on over to another package, which I believe is from Warner Brothers. Uh, home entertainment. Uh, this, this one's been sitting here for a little while too. I, I, for, forgive me. I got Contagion. Contagion on 4K. This is the movie everyone was watching when uh, the pandemic first uh, first broke out. This people were all. This movie was kind of hard to find at the time. People were like, I think it was like going for crazy prices on online. I think it's released already, uh, February 27th. So it's coming out. In two days, as the time of, as the time I'm filming this video, straight from Warner Brothers Home Entertainment, Contagion. Uh, I remember digging this one. I remember digging this movie. Uh, I can't. It's one of those things like I haven't watched watched these things in a while, so I can't really like tell you a lot about them. Or some of them I haven't even seen before, like Dream Scenario and stuff. But I got another one uh, right here. I think this was most likely from Warner Brothers as well. Let's see. Let's see. Oh. This is one I saw in the theaters and actually enjoyed the movie. You know, I, and I'm not just saying it because, you know, I, I, get, the, I get these things sent or, or anything like that. I want to be honest with you. Like I said, I have never seen Dream Scenario. Uh, I haven't seen this one. I haven't seen, you know, Dark Man since like the early, at least the DVD, ver you know, days and stuff like that. So I don't want to, you know, speak out of hand or anything like that. It, it could, I, my, my opinions on that movie could, cha could have changed. But... I did, I did see this one in theaters. I was excited about seeing this one in theaters because I grew up loving the Gene Wilder movie from back in the day. Never cared very much for the, the Johnny Depp one. There's some elements of it that are cool and stuff like that, but this one kind of really captured the magic, sort of, of the first one. Not as, not as good as the first, obviously, but Timothy Chalamet as Wonka, the young Willy Wonka, and how he came to be and how he you know, started the... The chocolate factory and things like that was was really kind of cool, really kind of cool. I, I love the, you know the, the whimsical ver, you know, uh, feel uh, you know of this movie. I dig it. I'm happy to have it on 4K uh, from Warner Brothers Home Entertainment. And it looks like this one's coming out on uh, January 30th. January. Oh, so it's already wait. No, February 27th. So it's coming out in two days as the time I'm filming this video because I'm filming this on the 25th. But let me know. You guys are going to be picking up a copy of Wonka here on 4K. I love this movie. This movie was a lot of fun. A fun companion piece to the original film with Gene Wilder. I dug it. I can't wait to uh, crack into it and watch it again. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of movies these days, I'm not really super impressed with. But that one, I dug. That one, I really did like. But now, this one. <laughs> this one right here is coming from this uh, autograph company that holds private signings and virtual signings like on their Facebook page with wrestlers. You guys know I grew up watching wrestling mostly mostly WWF or WWE whatever you want to call it, you know, back in the day. And you know, I watched WCW especially when NWO was running wild, uh, you know, all over the t television screens back in the day with, you know, Scott Hall, Kevin Nash and uh, Hulk Hogan and stuff. So this company, like I said, holds private signings, even virtual private signings, where you can buy an auto, you buy buy a picture off their website as they're live on Facebook with said said you know wrestler, and the wrestler would sign it live for you on screen, like you know you can like personalize it on screen, and they might they may even say like a message to you and shit. It's a, it's a lot of fun, and their Facebook group is called Signed by Superstars, and uh, I think I think it's a lot of fun. They held a mystery box. Where they had forty different autographs that you know that you could possibly win, and it was a hundred dollars a spot, 
So I bought three spots out of 40, so I spent $300. I spent $300 on this box, and uh, they opened up the, 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 env the mystery boxes or mystery envelopes on their Facebook page, all transparent, so no one, you know, no one was playing any favoritism. And uh, I hit one of the hits. One of the hits I wanted. Uh, there was, they, had, they had a couple of Triple H autographed items uh, in there, a couple of Macho Man, Randy Savage, you know, autographed items on there. I was really hoping to get one, you know, one of those, you know, Macho Man or Triple H. Uh, my boss, my friend, uh, my friend got, got a Triple H, which is cool. Two items that are cool, but I don't know if, they really, if, if they're keepers to me. And man, they have packing peanuts. That shit's annoying. I ain't gonna lie, but I'm gonna try to like not make a mess. All right, I took out some of the packing peanuts so it doesn't get all, uh, hopefully not all over the place. Emptied some of them out. And uh, the first item uh, that I won was this action figure uh, right here. They have it in this like really cool, like protective case, which is kind of rad. I was not expecting that, but even cooler. But I, I won this action figure. It's called, uh, what is it called? A funhouse action figure of a, a wrestler that's no longer with us, Bray Wyatt. Let me put this down here. Uh, he he, re he recently passed away uh, a year or so ago, if I'm not mistaken. And they held a private signing with him, and they had a whole bunch of things autographed by him. So this is the, autographed by the fiend, uh, Bray Wyatt, uh, right there, which I think is pretty damn cool. And uh, it says, uh, "Let me." FN or something like that, but yeah, autographed by uh, Bray Wyatt right there. Uh, rest in peace, sir. Uh, that's pretty cool. This this was uh, one of the items I you know I got that I was just like, it's cool, but not really a keeper for me. So if anyone's interested, I may have this up for trade or for sale if anyone's into wrestling or would like a Bray Wyatt autographed figure. But the other two items, the other two items I won. Uh, were flats, flat items. Uh, let me see here. The first one, the other one, the first one I got right here is kind of, uh, the last two actually are controversial. Only because of what's going on in WWE right now. And, uh, I got a, a Muscle and Fitness magazine signed by Brock Lesnar. The Beast Incarnate. Brock Lesnar. As uh, Paul Heyman would say, uh, autograph muscle and fitness magazine signed by by Brock himself. Like I said, he's he's cool, I guess. But this is you know these two items are not really keepers for me. I bought three spots, you know, three spots and hopes hopes to get a big a big monster hit, and I did. And I did. It's not like the best quality image on the planet, by any means. Is there something extra in here? No, it's not extra. Okay. It's not the best, the most best, you know, not the, the best quality image or anything like that, but it's a monster hit. And this person doesn't have, one of the people on this uh, 8x10 doesn't have the best autograph on the planet, but I know it's real. And uh, let me take this out of the top loader. I got an 8x10 right here, signed by The Undertaker and Vince McMahon. I know it's kind of controversial for what what's going on. Has the you know has the authentication on the back. Uh, I, I am going to be getting this like JSA, maybe even getting a letter or Beckett or something. But it does have is Vince McMahon and the Undertaker choking the poop out of Vince McMahon. And if you know about anything about poop and Vince McMahon, you know what's going on with him these days. But to me, to get something like this, it's kind of crazy. Kinda crazy. Like I said, it's not like the best quality image on the planet. It's not horrible either. But, you know, it could be better. But it's Vince McMahon. I, I'm never going to meet Vince McMahon in my life. And growing up being a wrestling fan, Vince McMahon was a big part of that. Being an announcer, especially in the Attitude Era, going against like Stone Cold Steve Austin and all that jazz. To have a, a Vince McMahon autograph, it's kind of insane. Uh, if you look up on eBay, you can see how much a Vince McMahon autograph goes for. And um, there's some, you know, his autograph, you know, has a little bit of a variation to it. 
but they're pretty much all the same. There's like Funko, there's Funko Pops with the same autograph on it that go for a thousand dollars. Some of them, you know, it's anywhere on the low end. On the low end, it's like six, seven hundred bucks for this item right here, which is kind of crazy to be honest with you. But I love me some Undertaker. Vince McMahon is a big part, of course, uh, of my childhood when it comes to wrestling and things. A lot of people out there. But that's all I have to show and talk to you guys about today. These are my hits for the autograph mystery show I got into. Like I said, I bought three spots. So I, got, I was guaranteed three items that they had pictures of. These, these you know, these are Bray Wyatt, uh, Brock Lesnar, and the 8x10 signed by The Undertaker and Vince McMahon. But uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments down below what your favorite item was in the comments. And uh, thank you, Signed by Superstars. On, uh, they have signedbysuperstars.com and Signed by Superstars on Facebook. If you guys want to check out what they got going on. Uh, is this their, yeah, little couple info about them right there. They, they have auctions. They sell, they sell stuff all the time. And uh, I like them. I think, I, think, I think it's a lot of fun. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below. What are your what what are your top five favorite wrestlers of all time? Sound off in the comments. Catch you next time.